Okay, welcome to ICT Integration 2017 and we're going to be looking at learning platforms and more specifically Edmodo. Okay, so as I said last time, it, you're going to jump onto the student teachers Edmodo page that I've created, but I'm going to teach you how to get onto Edmodo yourself. So to start with, I'm going to get out of this PowerPoint. Okay, and you're going to go to edmodo.com. You can just search for Edmodo on YouTube, uh, sorry, on Google. You can click on the link uh, in your YouTube video, or you can just go to edmodo.com. When you get here, you're going to create your free account. Now you're going to, you're a teacher, so say I am a teacher. You can sign in with Office 365, or you can use your Google account, which we already have set up because you've all got your ePortfolio, or you can just set, sign up with your email address. So if I do jared.johnson at and then whatever password I'm going to do. Now notice here it's already taken because I've done it before. All right. So I'm just going to go to where I've already signed up. When, but when you sign in, it's going to say, okay, Edmodo would like to look at your stuff. I would say allow, so that way it allows you to continue on with that. Okay, and this is what it will look like to start off with. There is nothing here, okay? But the students quite often say that it looks a lot like Try Hard Facebook, and it does. Basically, you've got your groups down the side, you've got your center page in the middle where you can post everything, and your, your contacts down the right-hand side. Now, because, as Edmodo's got better, you can link to your online, um, your Microsoft Drive, um, or your Google Drive, uh, but for, for just for today, we're gonna be doing some just some basics. So you want to create a group, right? So this will be your class. So you go click on create a group, name your group. So mine might be year nine science. You'll be whatever you want to call it. This is only you see this group. So it doesn't matter if someone else has already called that. Select your grades. In this case, it's year nine or a range and it's in science. And quite often they get quite specific. So science, I'm going to say all. This group's going to be used by students and you can change color to, I'm going to say green because that's a science color and then I would go create. And what it's gonna do is create a little group for me. Here's my group code. Um, so any student that then gets on has to use this code. Now, I would suggest you click on this printable handout because what it does is it creates a PDF that you can then print and give to students, right? So it's, it's quite inviting. You can change, you could have changed the pictures in the profile. So my profile's not being updated yet. All right, and it says like your group this, it gives them the code, it gives them a step-by-step -step on how to do it. You can also download the apps, right? You can also email out the invites, or you can go to connections, or you can give them the link, right? So just you can copy this on the board, you can create a tiny URL and so on. If you're on Edmodo, right? So I'm in the Year 9 Science group here, and you can see there's a group code here. So if the students already have an Edmodo account, they can just go join. So here, if I want to join a group, so in this case, I'm, this is the student teachers group. So if you want to join a group, you're gonna click on join a group and you put in that code. So in this case, it's TKD3YW. And I'll put the code for um, us in the group, in the YouTube clip. Um, this is only uh, open for about 30 days, I think in which case it automatically is locked by Edmodo nowadays. And you can re unlock it, but it will create a new code. All right, so if I go join, that will now say I've joined the student teachers group. Okay, so I've got this one here. So in the student teachers group, I am, I'm gonna go back to my United Science group, right, my blue, my green one. And I can see there's one member, which is the other me. Oops, sorry. Um, now, if I want to post something, I might say homework tonight is questions one to 100. All right, I'm posting to Year 9 Science. I could attach files if I want, or attach a link, or I can just send. What I will do is it will post it down here. Your homework tonight is this, so students can see it. You can also assign, do class assignments. So basically you can just upload an assignment and you can force the students to do it. Um, there's quizzes you can do in here. So you can create quizzes, a poll, snapshot and so on. Um, if you go to your group settings, here's where you can find the code. If it's not, you can't already see up here. And you can also create subgroups within it as well. 
I wouldn't suggest you do that straight off. Um, subgroups are actually really good because you can um, get students to do stuff. Um, I've also seen someone create subgroups where it's basically um, unit one, unit two, unit three. So as students finish one group, they could then move, finish one unit, they moved, they were then moved from one group into the next group and all the information was already sitting there waiting for them, which is quite clever. If I go to members though, I can um, adjust so they make them all uh, read only or whatever. I can also um, select if I want, I can go and search them and I can also kick them out of my uh, of my group if I don't like who they are. So if, if you've got a student that's having to get your account, um, then you'll have an option out here to actually boot them out. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go now to this one and hopefully it's going to be logged in still. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to log out and log in with my other account. Okay, so I'm not using Google this time, I'm using my email account. So here I've got student teachers. Right, so I'm on the student teachers group. So I, you are all going to be adding and joining this group. Right, so the student teachers 2017. And what I would like you to do is, let's create a poll. Poll is, uh, how comfortable, comfortable are you with ICT integration uh, in, your, in, in your teaching? Let's try with integrating ICT into your teaching. All right, and you can, let's go. Um, I am awesome. I am basically a robot, so technology is cool with me. Um, I like to use technology uh, effectively. Sometimes it's not important using technology. And here, um, I will use it when I can. I uh, will use technology if I am forced to and I will never use technology when I teach. Some people don't want to. I can't stop you, I can't force you. Right? So now and I can go send. Now everybody within that group should have access to that poll. Right? And you should be able to take that and see what's going on. All right, so Edmodo is a great tool. Um, as I said, you can use it for, um, for Facebook, whatever. I, if instead I want to add a YouTube link, we'll see. It's be interesting. Okay, so. All right, so I'm going to grab this flame test. All right, so say I've got this video that I want to watch. All I need is the URL. And if I go into it, into here, I can say I would like to add a new video. Paste in the URL, and I'll even go and get the title for me. Flame test attach. Here is an example of me teaching a class. Same. The great thing about that is. Your video is right there. Students can then watch it in school if you have access to uh, YouTube in school. If they don't have access to YouTube in school, they can watch it when they go home. So it's a great way of sharing resources. All right, now, there's gonna be one more uh, video after this, which is uh, talking about TPAC. But your homework will be, homework, you know, your group work for this week will be to get onto your discussion board And I want to, you to explain to me, how would you use Edmodo in your classroom? You've only briefly looked at it, right? Very, very briefly. But I want you to give me a suggestion of how you could use it to be beneficial, right? So as I've said here, you could use homework or activities, um, sharing resources, assignments, whatever. I need you to put down what you think you'd use it for. Now, I want you to be very specific as well. Don't just say, oh, I'll use it to share homework. Explain to me what you're gonna do 
under your subject. So you might say, well, as a biology teacher in my class, I'm going to share the um, results from the practical and I'm going to get the students to discuss them and create a table. Okay, so that was very specific. So that will be your, your, your work to do this week. Right. Uh, have a play with Edmodo and then comment on what you think you use. I'm going to create a discussion board for this. There'll be a discussion discussion board post you have to do for each one. You also need to add this post to your ePortfolio as well. If you haven't set up your ePortfolio, that was week's one job. Um, you should have already done it by now, whether or not you're using Google Sites or you've copied Google Sites and using Weebly, it's up to you. Um, the easiest way is obviously Google Sites and if you are using Weebly or WebNode, in, uh, Snap Pages, whatever, Wix, um, can you please make sure that you set up your account, your website as similar as you can to our Google Sites because then our liaisons who are marking your work will be able to find everything really easy. All right, just for your heads up, the work this week has been is related to National Professional Standards 3, 4 and 5.